Um, talk to me. Uh, you have a, a new record, The Chocolate Cholo. Mm. Which is an interesting title. Break down, because you kind of broke it down on the song, but just break down, like, because we're from Arizona, which is, you know, fucking, by all, I mean, l- lots of Latinos. You Orale. Know what I'm Orale. Check it out, man. So, there's a few reasons why I can officially say that. A, let's start with let's start with me and my blood. Okay. My mother has an accent. My mother is half Mexican. Oh, excuse me, half Latina. Where I know we're in LA. I say where I'm from. Right. You know what I'm saying? My mother is half Latina. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother is full. So I'm Sinaloa. No, Sonora, actually. No, Sinaloa. Sonora. Sinaloa. 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 She's from Sinaloa. Um, but she's been here her whole life. So your mom's half Mexican. Yeah, my mom is yeah. half Mexican. There it is. My grandfather is black. Yeah. Grandmother had 23 kids or however many kids. Right. Uh, her whole family lives in Arizona right. and California, right. from Fresno to all, all Hispanic. You know what I'm saying? My cousin Papa's, Alex, all them. So we got her whole side of the family, including my grandmother. So now she, my grandmother has 18 kids, but my grandfather, they're all half black, half Mexican. Right. We're the chocolate cholos. Got it. Everybody knows us on Broadway as the chocolate cholos, pretty much. Everybody, my grandma was the Broadway grandmother. That's fire. Everyone loves my my grandmother. I didn't. I grew up to chorizo, tortillas and butter. You know what I'm saying? That's how I grew up. Tortillas. I'm gonna say it that way. Right. But you know, and and but all that shit, man. So just like when I and so that's that part of chocolate cholo. Yeah. And then you got my best friends growing up Broadway. You know, Broadway was a mixture of Hispanic and blacks. For sure. They're not trying to act black. Right. They were just Broadway gangsters. Right. Real ones <laughs> went harder than a lot of us. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And they were real about it. Fine sisters. We used to like their sisters. These are people we grew up with. For sure. That's from the neighborhood. Right. Never no separation type. I don't know what goes on in different cities and states, but out there, that was always a good blend. So, um, moving forward, um, my flow, I've always said something. I've always included the Hispanic. Ch- Chicano, Chicano, Latina, Mexican, right. whatever you want to say into my music. I was saying Chocolate Cholo 15 years ago in my old demos. To, you know what I mean? Right, right, I was right. saying that. So um, my manager, Tiffany, she's from Arizona. She was always saying, when I first got signed, she was like, we got to include them with everything we do. Yeah, and you, That's have, what a, we do. you have a deal with Filibertos? Man, You're we about f- to get into all that. <laughs> It's Filiberto. Filiberto. It's Phillies, man. It's Phillies, all right? <laughs> Filiberto. Yeah, it's Filiberto's. Um, shout out to Philip, my boy Caesar, man. His family owned chain down there. They can't. That's the McDonald's, of, you know. Our I try era, to tell people, yeah. I'm like, listen, you can say what you want about Philly's food. It's yeah, always there. It's, it's country, always open, man. and it's always there when you Best need it. Best carne inside it, man. man. Love that California burrito over there. But it's, it's at the end of the day, that's why I was trying to say. It, I've done something that no one has ever done. I've, I've bridged the gap with the Hispanic community. And what I'm rep, I don't know, you know, my state, my area is responding and to it fucking beautiful. Right. As you know what should. I'm saying? They love, they see what I'm doing. All my work is coming from the Hispanic community. They, you know, I'm doing to, to live and die, to, to live and die LA tour. That's always out here. They're coming to Phoenix. Oh, nice. So shout out to, to live and die LA. You know, they be running shit out here sometimes, you know. Explain to me the last 15 years from the, t- okay, let's say, like, give me a rundown on kind of what you've been up to outside of recording you know i i know you'd be on some entrepreneur shit i know you'd be hustling like what 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 have you been up to i mean you've been nosy no i'm just asking bro i feel like people want to know that's that hiatus talk yeah you've been on this hiatus Um, bro the fuck you been up to dog you gotta you gotta pay the bills man oh man do i go there (laughs) no i can't go there um i mean it was real life bro yeah you know what i'm saying i represent your generation of hip-hop, Kev. Right. I can't talk about what these kids are talking about. Right. So I had to go through stuff to get to this level to even want to come back to rap. Right. I'm, you know, we're at the age of like, what the fuck I want to rap for? Like, it ain't because of this old thing. It's because it's just like, I don't, I'm not drilling. I'm not painting my hair purple. Right. I'm not, none of that. I'm not getting no tattoos on my face. I'm too clean for right. these dudes. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, there's a lane that we need a voice in our generation. Right. That's going to, because hip-hop is young. For We're sure. not old I mean, at all. 51 years. We're 51, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's 50 years. You know, they haven't had any grandpas or 
any of that. So right. there's no gap. You can't put a gap on something that was just birthed into the world that's running the whole. By fucking- the way, Ti is a grandpa now. I just found that out. He's got yeah. like three grandkids, which is fucking crazy. I, I heard that yesterday, and I was like, "What? I'm old." Anyway, so you got you got a, you got people like Ti that's still hot. Lil Wayne, you got Drake. These people are still hot, and Kanye's and all these other people that are still hot. And that can still make great music. And you got other people that's trying to put cap on what they do. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it works. We are the forefathers, the lyricists, all these people. And I just happen to still be handsome as fuck, look good, drop some shit, can rap better than all these niggas. And I'm coming back because it's not about age. It's about talent at this point. Yeah. Right I, around. No, for sure. Yeah. I, so I, if it's I, about I think, that. I think hip hop's been kind of ageless for a while. Yeah, I think 2 Chains uh-huh. was kind of the first guy to show everybody like... It don't matter no, how no, old no, you no, are. No, 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 no. Two Chains was the first. For sure. Like where you could be like, "Yo, I'm post thirty and popping." The closest my thing moment. that Two Chains come back story is what Willie North Poe's doing right now. I like pay it. Pay attention. Man. Just pay attention. That's you know that's my bro. For, yeah, great. Yeah, guy. when I say we was on the tour bus roasting each other and play a circle days, <laughs> all that shit. Yeah, that's my dude, man. 